sponsored by Skillshare. What's going on folks? It's that time of month again as we're gonna go ahead and look at 10 of some very useful apps for our Apple Watch. Today list of applications is gonna primarily be focusing on productivity. So what better way to remain focused is by listening to some music. Simple Radio is the name of this first application and what this thing does is basically allows you to listen to your local nearby radio stations all off your wrist. The watch application itself has a really, really simple UI and you could tap on your favorite bookmarked radio stations and begin listening to it by just using any pair of Bluetooth headphones. And if you want to add more radio stations, you can just simply launch the full application on your iPhone. Look up your radio stations either by zip code or across other states. Simply bookmark them and now they're saved on your Apple Watch. So if you're like me, who sometimes can get tired of listening to the same playlist over and over again, this is a great way to stay focused and also discover new music to add to your Spotify list. Another great app is iHeartRadio. Now the thing about iHeartRadio is that not only does it actually has some of its very own radio stations, kind of like XM and Sirius XM, satellite radios, but this one's free. Just like simple radio, there's no subscription fee that is required for you to actually use the service. There is monthly service options, but you don't need it once again. But iHeartRadio also does do the local radio stations, but some of the radio stations are limited compared to Simple Radio. Simple Radio, from my experience, has more radio stations available than iHeartRadio, but iHeartRadio also supports podcast listening. So if you have some favorite podcasts that you always like listening to, iHeartRadio has all that in one application. Now this third application is called investing.com. If you're into the stock market, you're going to definitely like this application as it not only keeps track of the daily news, it also will notify you on your stocks and you can also include a wish list of future stocks you wish to purchase. What I like about this application, it sends me notifications on some of the stocks I'm looking at and I can actually read it on my wrist or save it for I could read it later on on my smartphone. This application also allows you to keep track of your portfolio and are always notified if something happens to your shares. And if you're not an investor, but you're interested to learn more about the stock market, our today's video sponsor will help you learn. Skillshare, if you're not aware, is an online learning community for anybody with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, even stock courses are available. I personally have been a user of the platform. I personally have enrolled in some of their stock courses and have completed them in the courses that they have available for the stock market. As I now could tell the difference on what story that these candlesticks tell when you see these kind of graphs. This is important and crucial for any investor to know. I also took advantage of the sites and also improved my photography skills. As you can see, my Instagram game has been strong now. They literally have classes and courses for any skill out there. Skillshare is also super affordable. An annual subscription is only less than $10 a month. So join more than 7 million other creators that also join Skillshare and start learning today. Right now, the first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the video description down below will get two months free, a free two months trial when you first sign up. So go ahead and take advantage of this offer. But now back to our application list. Minia List is another great free app that allows you to keep all of your multiple tasks that you have to get complete throughout the entire day, all organized in one screen. What I like about this application, as soon as you launch the app, there's no weird animation. You're right there, what you need to see for the day. And once you complete these tasks, you simply just tap on them and it automatically gets completed. And then if you want to quickly add more things to your to-do list, simply just 3D press and just speak into it. I have actually started using this app more and more because it's so independent. Before I used to always just go on my notes application on my iPhone and just enter the things I have to do. This thing, I can just simply view it all on my wrist and it just runs all very well independently and just allows me to be more productive in not forgetting some things I have to get done today. Now this next application is called Calendar Skin. Now you'll be surprised how hard it was to even find a calendar app for the Apple Watch that's free because the native application, the calendar one, it's cool and all, but the thing I don't like about it is that you're unable to go ahead a few months. You're only stuck in the month that it's currently in. But with this application, it allows you to see ahead of three months. So if you ever find yourself having to make a last minute appointment to schedule, 
and you want to make sure the day that you're picking is not a weekend or a weekday with this application, if I'm on the phone, I no longer have to put my phone on speaker in order to view the calendar. I can just view it all right here and make sure I select the right date. And this calendar app also syncs up with your Apple's calendar as well. So that's a good bonus. Now this next application, it's going to be really great for college students. Miriam Webster Dictionary is our next one. Now before you question, why do I need a dictionary app? Again, it's for college. Because as we should be aware, Siri is also capable of reading the definition of some words if you're not aware. But the amount of number of courses that I personally have taken, for some reason, every college professor relies on this dictionary book. And if you're using Siri, this might alter your grade because it's not going to be the same definition found inside this damn book. But besides that, this dictionary doesn't read back the word to you like Siri does. And so, if your professor allows it, you could actually just use this app instead of carrying the book. Now in some of my other Apple Watch videos, I got a handful of comments from people requesting to know what's a good water tracking app and I think I found a great one. It's called Drink Water Reminder and it's free to download. What I like about this application is that as soon as you launch it on your smartphone, you have to input your information like your weight, your height, all that good stuff and it'll actually give you the recommendation water intake to consume daily. And I can understand why this application is very important because it not only reminds you when you should remain hydrated, but when you're working behind a desk or just working on something in general, it's easy sometimes to just forget to drink some water and stay hydrated. This application will actually send you notifications when it's time to drink the next batch of water in order to get your recommended amount in tank for the rest of the day. And you can log that information by using your Apple Watch too. And this application will also sync up that data to your health app as well. Now this next one is a step tracker. Yes, uh, the Apple Rings does a good job in allowing you to know and estimate how many steps you've taken for your daily goal. But you can't really see the exact number unless you click on the ring and scroll down and that's when you see the exact number of steps you have taken. But that's really annoying and it's not like you could just take a quick glance. But that's where Pacer comes in, that's the name of this application. Now what I like about this application is that you can actually use this as a complication alone as it will actually display you the number of steps you have taken throughout the entire day right there on your wrist. So no need to do those extra steps. And then if you launch the app, it will actually show you your goal for the day if you set one. So for an easy to use step tracker, definitely do check out Pacer. Now Microsoft Translator is the next one. What I like about this application, it's that it just has a really clean UI. The user interface is, I just said UI twice. The uh, UI is so clean and it's really easy to use. For instance, you can see here all your recent translations you made and you can also bookmark some of these translations as well on the other side. And in the center, you simply just tap on it, say the word you wish to get it translated to and it'll do it right here and you're able to see it. And you could also play the audio back. So if somebody's next to you, you could let them listen to it while it translates. And then if you ever need to switch or change the language, you simply just 3D press on the watch and just select the language you wish to translate now. So I think this is one actually one of the best translation apps out there right now because it's free, has no subscription fees like others. And it's surprisingly by Microsoft. I think this is like one of the best apps they actually created for quite a while now. So it's rare for them to have a good app. Now for this final ones is a bit of an off topic to the subject for today's video. It's not productivity focus, but I know it's an app that many of us will appreciate. It's called Lens and it's basically, it's Lens for Instagram and it's basically an Instagram app. As soon as you sign in and launch the application, you can actually hit home and you can actually view your entire Instagram feed all off your wrists. The photos, the images, everything looks nice on this application. And the cool thing about this app, even videos play and actually does play back audio too. You can interact with these uh, posts, you could like, as well as comment, as well as view other people comment, all off the single app. The layout's very clean. The only thing you really gotta keep in mind though, some of the things, some of the features aren't available. For instance, stories, you actually have to purchase the pro version, unfortunately. If you've been looking for a substitute for the official Instagram app, definitely do check out Lens and it's also free to download. Or you could do the WebKit method as well. That works perfectly fine too and that one's free and you get all its features. If you want to find out how to do that, I did a full video tutorial on how to do that. You click the little i-card above this video or click for that link in the video description down below. Anyways, that was 10 productivity focus, except for that last one. Applications for your Apple Watch. 
If you found one of these apps useful, helpful, make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up. As now, let me know that will also help support the channel since YouTube is all about this number game. So if you could help out in any way you can, I'll greatly appreciate it. And also get subscribed as I got plenty of more Apple Watch content coming out in the near future as well as some exclusive stuff on its way. But that's going to be it for this video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.